We're in the 608 this morning with an update on the community book drive for the Madison Area Reading Project. Josh Frieder is live at their book center this morning. <laughs> he's got all sorts of fun books and he's telling us how we can help him out. First of all, I want to know what you're holding, Josh. Look who I got, guys. Is that Bascom? Not quite as cute, but close. <laughs> I was just looking at the cutest puppies ever, and then I came across Leah's dog. And the description, a large dog with a thick coat, which is accurate. And a big heart. <laughs> You've seen that before. And heart. a big heart. <laughs> and a big heart. It also says it loves to roll around in the snow, which I've seen before, too, in the couple of snowstorms that we've had so far. But, hey, we're having a lot of fun here, really talking about why this impact of what the Madison Reading Project is doing in the community is so huge for us here in the 608. Rowan Childs is here with an update. Yeah. this morning and you guys have an exciting update because we're talking about the holiday book drive but you also have reached a milestone that you guys have never reached before talk about that for us yeah so we give out new books all year round um, and today we'll be sending out our 100,000th book of the year which is an amazing uh, amount of books and just a, a lot of hard work obviously to get there and we know that we still have thousands of books yet left, left to go. Yeah, you think about 100,000 books, that's a lot for our area. That means that a lot of kids are getting their hands on these things that really are going to last a lifetime. Yeah, we want every kid to be able to have awesome books in their hands in their home or in their classroom or wherever they are during the day um, and there's a huge need out there for quality materials that get kids excited. So, you know, we been talking about this community book drive that's been going on for a few weeks now but this is really the final push there are two more days left and what are you guys trying to really get out of this book drive this year absolutely I mean if in anything the awareness of what's happening in our community the need that's out there we want to be able to provide high quality books that really engage kids and we want to be able to continue to do that obviously sort of forever and ever for <laughs> years to come. So the importance of getting great books into kids' hands that they just want to pick up and cherish or have their parents read to them um, is what we're all about and to try and make it fun. Making that impact. All right, let's throw that information up on the screen right now. Again, the drive ends this Saturday, December 10th, so there's still time, yeah. Rowan. Yeah, so there's uh, 40 different donation stations throughout the county. Um, they'll have bins out, so if you miss it by Saturday, their bins will probably still be there on Sunday or you can drop them off at our center or give us a call or you can donate books or funds through our website too. Wonderful. Rowan, thank, thank you. you. We'll get all this up on channel3000.com as well. Again, guys, the final push. Let's make some difference and I mean, who doesn't want to read about the cutest puppies ever, right? And I mean, this is just one of however many books that are in this room here at the book center here, guys. So let's do some good this holiday season. Let's do it. I agree with you. Uh, this holiday season, uh, we've got a, a, all, of our ki all of our kids' Christmas books out. We keep them in a, like a, a suitcase under the bed, and then we get to pull them out and make a big deal out of it. You should donate some. Christmas. Uh, yes, uh, oh, I love season, that. We should absolutely uh, go through and, uh, and weed some of them out. And, totally agree. And give them to a great cause. Love it. Josh Breider, thanks a lot, man. Hey, make sure you let Josh know what inspires you in the 608, especially this time of year. We're always looking for local nonprofits who need a little bit of support from their community. There is his Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter handle, as well as his email.